Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be talking about Honkai Star Rail, the new turn-based game from Hoyoverse, makers of Genshin Impact. Honkai Star Rail features a colorful cast of playable characters that must be earned from the game's gacha system. This can lead to some disappointment when pulling for a specific character, as the process relies entirely on RNG. However, players are given a wide variety of excellent units for free to fill out their roster. The most notable change in Honkai Star Rail is the shift from real-time action combat to turn-based combat. The well-known elemental combination system in Genshin Impact is not present in this title. Instead, there are new ways to implement strategy into combat, such as using different elements to inflict weakness break. Comprising a team of multiple elements is essential for taking on different enemy types. Now, let's talk about the top 7 characters in Honkai Star Rail. Herda. Herda is an ice element erudition unit, meaning she specializes in multi-target damage. Her skill and ultimate deal AoE ice damage to the enemy team. Additionally, her talent allows Herda to perform a follow-up attack when an ally causes an enemy's HP percentage to fall to 50% or lower. Herda's damage falls off quickly as players progress, but she is a valuable character early on. Serval. Serval is a lightning erudition unit in Honkai, Star Rail, capable of dealing multiple instances of lightning damage to the enemy team. She can inflict a dot debuff on foes called Shock, which deals 50% lightning damage at the start of each of Serval's turns. Serval can be obtained through the in-game mail as a pre-registration reward. Asta. Asta is a fire element harmony unit that applies buffs to improve the team's combat capabilities. Her ultimate grants a team-wide speed buff for two turns, while her talent increases attack for all allies per stack. A stat is rewarded during the tutorial section when showcasing the warp system. March 7th. March 7th is an ice preservation unit that possesses defensive abilities to protect allies. She can grant a shield to an ally with her skill, which absorbs damage. If the shielded ally has 30% or more HP, this will also draw enemy attacks to them. March 7th is the only free preservation unit and fills a valuable role for players that need a bit more survivability on their team. Natasha. Natasha is a physical abundance unit that specializes in healing allies. Her skill heals a single ally for a percentage of her max HP initially and continues to heal them for two more turns. Her ultimate heals a large amount of HP to the entire team. Thanks to her talent, healing allies that are below 30% increases outgoing healing. Natasha is earned after completing the main story quest, Lying in Rust. Dan Heng. Dan Heng is currently the only wind element unit following the path of the hunt. He specializes in dealing immense single target damage. When properly invested, Dan Heng can take down bosses and tough enemies with ease. He is a valuable addition to any player's roster. 1. Welt. At the top of the tier list is Welt, a Thunder Harmony unit in Honkai, Star Rail. He is incredibly versatile, with the ability to deal damage, heal allies, and apply debuffs to the enemy team. Welt's skill deals moderate thunder damage to all enemies and provides a thunder buff to the entire team for two turns. His ultimate deals AoE thunder damage to the enemy team, healing allies for a percentage of damage dealt, and applying a thunder debuff that reduces the enemy team's defense. His talent causes thunder attacks to increase his attack for the next turn, and if the attack crits, he will also reduce the enemy's thunder resistance. Welt is obtained after completing the main story quest, Silent Thunder. He is one of the best free units in the game, offering a wide variety of support and damage capabilities. Pair him with other thunder or debuff units for the best results. In conclusion, Honkai Star Rail offers a fun turn-based experience with a variety of playable characters. While the gacha system can be frustrating at times, there are plenty of free units that can perform just as well or better than their gacha counterparts. Players should consider filling their team with a mix of different elements to take on various enemy types. With the help of this tier list, players can make informed decisions on which characters to prioritize and build their team around. 